give it a good slap. What's going on, beautiful people? We are back in the anabolic kitchen. So, ever since I put out the vegan cookie dough recipe, I've been getting tons of comments and messages across Instagram and YouTube, just requesting another tasty and delicious high protein vegan recipe. And for those of you who did not catch that, I'll go ahead and link the video up in the video card up top. So, today, we're taking on the mysterious tofu. Did I just hear tofu? Are you talking about that thing that looks like space food? Talking about that jiggly white brick? That's right. We're gonna whip up a delicious, high protein packed vegan meal brought to you by Sarah's Vegan. She's a great vegan YouTube channel and I'll go ahead and link her in the description below. So this recipe comes highly recommended by my brother. He's not vegan, but absolutely loves delicious foods. And to be honest, I'm not vegan and you may not be vegan, but exploring new flavors only enhances your nutrition game like a thousand percent. And in turn, your dieting options expand tenfold. And not only that, your adherence to the diet expands a hundredfold. And who knows, you just might impress somebody someday with your culinary awesome well done. The truth is, you can fill your macros with anabolic ice creams or some anabolic tofu. Mix it up, it's a party, right? Tofu, meet chicken. Chicken, meet jiggly white brick. And at the end of the day, tofu is still a great protein source and gives your diet a change of pace from all the other different sources of protein you've been getting on a daily basis. Honestly guys, how many of you guys out there get tired of eating chicken or meat and just have an itch for something new. I can tell you definitely straight up I do. I can see you out there, I know who you are. Are you ready to level up? Cause I'm ready. Cupcake, you ready? She's ready. So sit back, relax, and let's see just how anabolic this tofu can really get. Let's go. So this recipe is pretty simple and in terms of ingredients and overall seasoning, you can flex on this as much as possible. And I think that's the beauty of this specific recipe. So first up, we're gonna need 454 grams of a super firm tofu. Now, this is the one that I'm gonna be using. You can pick this up at Walmart for about two, three bucks a pop. You can also visit your local Sprouts. They may also have it. But guys, just make sure that you pick up the super firm tofu and there is a difference. This is probably something that you guys are more used to seeing, but you're gonna wanna keep an eye out for the vacuum packed tofu. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and use one and a half cups of soy milk or an almond milk. Then we'll also need two tablespoons of a cornstarch. Then we'll go ahead and use 60 grams of a panko breadcrumb. And guys, this is a good starting point. In terms of cornstarch and breadcrumbs, you'll probably wanna monitor just based off of your own texture and consistency preferences. But just remember the combination of these two will give you a crispy texture. So this tofu here, we're gonna go ahead and cut into triangle shapes. You can also go ahead and cut them as squares or rectangles, whatever shape you guys desire. Let's go. Next step is we're gonna go ahead and set up our system. So we're gonna have a cornstarch, a wash, and then a breadcrumb station. All right guys, before we get started with the breading process, you wanna make sure that you throw some flavor in here because without any seasoning, this is gonna taste super dull. So I threw in some pepper, salt, some garlic, and then a touch of ginger. You can season it to however you like. You can put in some Cajun flavoring, what have you. Make it to however you fancy it. Just make sure you give it a good mix so that all of the breadcrumbs and the seasoning get mixed in together and you don't get clumps of overpowering seasoning and just a little bit of breading. Shake it, shake it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we having a party up in here. All right guys, this thing is smoking hot, just came right out of the oven, but let's get right into it. Three categories, you guys know the deal. Anabolics, taste, and is this gonna satisfy your craving? Now, I don't know about you, but changing things up when it comes to my diet is what I live for. I love diversity. I love knowing that I'm gonna have a bunch of different options to choose from when it comes to proteins and the things I throw into my daily meals. 
So what I have here is only just a fraction of the entire serving. That entire tofu brick that I showed you earlier has five servings in and of itself. So let's go ahead and show the calories and the macro breakdown. So in terms of total calories, we're looking at 407 calories for the entire meal. And this, remember, is just a portion of that. In terms of fat, we're looking at 35 grams of fat, 72 grams of carbs, and 78 grams of protein. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this thing is stacked with protein and also gives you a ton of volume. From a vegan standpoint and taking a look at the overall protein status, 78 grams is a ton. And I think for most folks, this is probably going to be about half your protein intake. So from an anabolic standpoint, I'm going to go ahead and rate this as an eight. Now, when it comes to taste, for those of you who have never tried tofu or a super firm tofu, it can get very close to the texture of chicken, which is why a lot of different vegan and vegetarian restaurants utilize utilize tofu as a chicken substitute. Now, the way that I've cooked it, when you've thrown it in the oven, and the tougher the tofu can get. So I left this in for approximately 18 minutes, and this actually has come out nice and crispy. So let's go ahead and get into the taste test. That's what it's looking like. I put a little sriracha on top for some spiciness. Everybody loves a little bit of fuego, cornstarch, and the breadcrumbs come to a nice little toast. Make sure you guys season the hell out of this. Salt, black pepper, put some Cajun seasoning, give it some life. We're not gonna touch any of the sauces. We're just gonna leave it as plain as possible. We got a little bit of sriracha. Let's try it out. Mmm. So here's the deal guys, for those of you who have never tried tofu, definitely try this out. It only takes just a little bit of prep time, you throw it in the oven and you're good to go. Now just based on initial taste, without any sauce, just a tad bit of sriracha sauce, you throw in a little bit of seasoning, make it Cajun, make it barbecue, however you want. You want to put some Asian fusion to it, throw it in but you're gonna get something that's just gonna be spot on. In terms of sauce, I've got a tahini sauce here, and then I've also got a mango ginger habanero sauce. I told you, I love a little bit of fuego. Kinda looks like a little pizza. Mmm. Guys, this is delicious. I haven't had tofu in a while, but this is probably the furthest that I've actually experimented with tofu, and I gotta say, I would highly recommend trying this recipe out. So, here's the deal. The panko and the cornstarch definitely give that extra crunch. You're gonna notice it right off the bat. In terms of tofu, I just, I really don't get a whole lot of tofu flavor. Just the seasoning, the sauce, a little bit of the sriracha, everything just kind of masks that flavor. But in general, it just, this recipe works. It is very delicious. And I think what I really love about this is that if you don't like garlic, you don't like black pepper, you don't like sriracha, heck, you know, switch it out with something else. I could totally see this having a solid Cajun sauce. This is gonna be awesome. It's super flexible. In terms of taste, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 10. But really, the texture and consistency is just a lot more, it's, a, it's just a lot firmer, and really just gives you a lot more bite. Last category, is this gonna satisfy your craving? I don't know. Are you craving something very specific in terms of texture, cuisine? There could be a lot of different questions there. But at the end of the day, are you looking to experiment? So from a craving standpoint, I'm gonna definitely put this at a nine. In terms of flavor and newness, this definitely changes and gives you some new perspective to your nutrition and your meal plan. So I would highly recommend you guys to try this out. In terms of craving, if you've got an itch to play around with tofu, see what you can do with it, come up with some new stuff, excite your taste buds, and give you something new to look forward to, hell yeah, this is gonna do it. All right, guys. Three categories, anabolic taste craving. We just crushed it today. The crispy tofu recipe comes out to a total of 9.1. This thing is stacked with protein, gives you a ton of volume, and also really just lights up your taste buds. So if you guys are looking for something new, want to experiment, try this recipe out. I highly recommend it. And trust me guys, if I didn't love it, I'd tell you right away and would not give you the two thumbs up. Test it out, throw in different seasonings, flavor it up, give it some life, and use it to your benefit. Change up your diet. I know we all love our chicken and our meats, but there's a ton of other protein sources that we can tap into and use it to our advantage. Well guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unique recipe. And for all of my vegan viewers out there, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this recipe. If you've tried it out or if you're contemplating it, or maybe you tried something very similar to it, I'd love to hear your thoughts and come up with some new and interesting vegan recipes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick dose of anabolic goodness and picked up a new recipe. Go surprise someone. Remember guys, 
live and explore new flavors, whether that's your training, your nutrition, or life in general. Remember, it's an adventure to be had. The decision is yours. So give it a go. Let me know what you think. But otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.